In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a ceramic coating, shine armor, to protect your paint, uh, plastics, glass, and a whole lot more. Hey, this is Donnie Smith, and I've got this bottle of shine armor. It's a ceramic coating, and it's used to clean, protect your paint from you know contaminations and things like that. And it's a very quick, it says quick coat, and that's what it is. It goes on very quick, and I'm going to show you how to apply it. So it says it's a waterless wash, shine, and protects. Uh, and this is a good idea for, you know, if you've got a car that, like a show car, and you're just wanting to clean it up. Now, obviously, if it's full of mud and you've been out mudding or something like that, probably not going to work. But uh, just to clean it up, like a show car, race car, or just after you wash it, you can use this just to protect it. Another thing I found useful is like on uh, watercraft, like jet skis, after you get them out of the lake or boats. You know, go over that and spray it down with this and clean it up. Works real well for that. But I'm just going to do a hood and, and windshield on my Nissan just to show you how it works. So to do this, you're going to need some microfiber towels to, to wipe it on, then wipe it off with. And then you're going to need your bottle of ceramic coating. I've taped this off just so we can compare the difference. Uh, this has not been washed. I mean, it's clean, but it's, it has had rain. It's got some water spots and stuff on it. But we're going to do this side of the glass because it says it works on paint, glass, and plastic. So we'll do, uh, we'll see what it does on chrome too. And we'll do this, uh, this headlight over here and we'll do that glass. And it's been raining here. So hopefully after I do this, I can pull it out in the rain and kind of compare it and see if, you know, it makes a, a difference with the, how it sheds water. So what it says to do, Let's get your microfiber towel and spray some of the product on there, some of this ceramic coating. And you want to do about a, a three foot section at a time. So I'm just going to kind of break this in. And it says you want to get it on there and off before it dries on its own. So, so I've got it on there and then you take your other one and you wipe it off. And I'm just going to continue doing that on the whole hood. Put it on my towel. Wipe it on and immediately come back and wipe it off. I'm short, so I got to get a little stool, a little stand over here. And be sure and don't let it dry on its own. It said to wipe it off before it dries on its own. I'm going to do the same thing on the glass. Oops, better get the right one here. See it hazing up a little bit. You want to be sure and get that off. It does dry streak free. It does a good job of that. And you'll also want a couple of microfiber towels with you. I mean, you can flip these around and get a clean edge. But what you want to do is get something that has some dirt on it and start rubbing on your paint, and that'd cause some scratches. Now the headlight. And there you have it. I've applied it to this one side. Now we'll have to wait and see how it looks. We can go ahead and pull the tape, tape to see if you can see a difference in the shine. Now it definitely did clear it up, made it look uh, shinier, the lights look clearer in there. Now how long it lasts, I'm not sure. Uh, they say that ceramic uh, coating lasts a while, so but we'll kind of test it out. It's supposed to be raining, it rained some this morning, so uh, we'll see if it rains some this afternoon. We'll take another video clip of it and show you, you know, if it's shedding water uh, like it should. So. 
Now here's a close up of the paint surface where I applied the ceramic coating and just kind of showing you where I did apply it and where it's not applied. I can tell there's a difference. I don't know how well you can tell on camera. Okay, it didn't rain after all like I was thinking it might, so I got the water hose out and sprayed it down with water to see if the water beads up on one side more than the other. And you can tell that the area that was uh, applied the ceramic coating, the water is beating up, dripping off a lot faster. The side where it wasn't applied, the water's just staying on there and hasn't really uh, beat it up or starting to dry yet. So uh, it definitely does help uh, with water, you know, help it's, helps it uh, beat up and run off where it'll, it'll dry faster. So it does do a good job of that. And you can see on the windshield as well. Now I know the, the, the shadow is kind of in the way of the windshield some, so it's kind of hard to see what's going on there. But uh, it does help. You know, it does help bead the water up, run off, where it'll be a drier a lot faster. And that, my friends, is how you use Shine Armor Ceramic Coating to protect your paint. Now you may keep in mind, uh, this is for aged paint. Uh, if you just painted a car, just like you don't want to wax it for 90 days, I wouldn't want to use this either because it's going to seal the paint, you know, make it where it can't breathe. Well, for that first 90 days, that paint is still curing, so you don't want to use wax or ceramic coating or anything like that. But after that 90 days, I'd recommend giving this a try. If you want to buy one of these bottles, I've got a link to the website down in the description. Uh, you can go there and check it out for yourself. The first one that leaves a comment and tells me what you think about the ceramic coating, maybe you've used it before, or maybe you want to try it, just what you think about it. First one that leaves a comment down below, I'm going to send you a t-shirt. Thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you in the next video.